Welcome to today's webinar, Apollon, are you still designing or are you already modeling? Now this text is a bit, uh, uh, this text is a bit over the top, but uh, we want to show you today what you can achieve in the future with our new facade design software, Apollon. Yeah, but first, my name is Henning Wagner and next to me is uh, like always in the webinars, our Philipp Schwab, hello Philipp. Hello, I would like also welcome to uh, welcome you from all over the world this afternoon. And I would like to give you an exciting um, overview about our new software, Apollon. Thank you for your attention and your interest. Yeah, thank you, Philip. And today I'm again responsible for the questions in the chat and Philip for the content. We also make this introduction extra short for you, though, that you have more of the content. Yeah, today we'll take you to an, uh, on an excursion into the A and the O of the metal construction facade technology. Philip will show you now how to create a facade from the sketch in Athena 2021 together with Apollon 2022 and how to adapt it again and again in the course of changes. I'm a little, I'm a little, little bit slow with the, with the pointer, so. <laughs> Okay, so, but before we start, we have a little survey for you and we want to, to ask you um, something about with, uh, which, what uh, design software you are working with. And I will start the survey now and we want to know from you, do you already use Autodesk Inventor? Because as you could already see in the reports or magazines, Apollon is based on the Autodesk Inventor core and it's therefore highly performant, which you can see for yourself right away. So we leave this survey one minute open and we can see the result here. And I see 76% has chosen 80%. I don't wear my glasses, so I have to <laughs> <laughs> go forward and back. So, okay, 80. Three, I think, okay, okay. It's a little bit different from the German webinar, which, uh, which we had on Friday uh, last week. And uh, some more of you are using Autodesk Inventor. So I close the survey and show you the result. And the result is, okay, more of you don't work with Autodesk Inventor. And uh, I think uh, if you see, uh, what you see now, then maybe it's uh, for you yeah, a big advantage if you are using Apollon in the future and Athena as well. Okay, so uh, I think, uh, but enough for words now, Philip. Clear for you? We yes. can start now? Okay, thank you. Let's go. Okay, so I will check this and then we start now. Yeah, before we start with the facade elaboration in our new software Apollon 2022, we would like to deal briefly with the basic situation. The goal is to create a parametrically changeable unitized facade in the next 30 minutes. In Athena Complete 2021, our software flagship, I have created the basic design of the required unitized facade. Using Athena functionality, I also created the building structure joints quickly and efficiently in, other, in order to make sure, of course, um, that the overall planning works from a building physics point of view. For maximum information, the parts can be labeled automatically. Later, the 2D sections can be brought onto a plan. I received the access model from the architect and rudely revised it. However, such access models can also be imported from a Revit model, for example. You can see that the access model has not been created properly. This is either due to lack of drawing skills of the architect or due to inoccurances if the access model has been exported as, for example, DVG from another software product. But this does not matter. We now want to filter one 
unit of the facade and then make it export ready to continue working in Apollon software. To do this, I isolate the required part and write out the access model as a separate DVG. One more thing, by the way. You know better than we do that a facade can change in many parameters due to changing widgets and requirements of the customer. Geometry details that change can have a big impact on the required components of the facade. Now I will saving um, the facade unit in our project browser. At this moment, we come to the promised, our fully parametric 3D CAD software, Apollon 2022. We will create a fully parametric unitized facade and do important ev evaluations of the facade. And at the beginning, we need a new part. I will open this. First of all, we need a new 3D sketch. A 3D sketch as a basis for a facade can be created from an imported uh, DVG as in our case, or it can also be sketched in Apollon from scratch. So let's open our saved DVG of our facade unit and we will import uh, this G DVG or the sketch to Apollon to our new part in directly in the model space. As already mentioned, it can be that such a 3D sketch was not executed completely clean. But this is no problem for Apollon functionality. Uh, let's run the special Apollon intersection point analysis over the sketch to determine the intersection points. The model is now analyzed and the lines are separated. It's not necessary to delete the remnants. We just leave it as it and continue with the surface calculation. Surfaces are essential in Apollon to be able to automatically create fillings like insulation glass or panels later. Now you can see that we have a surface model and we can check this in on the left side in the model browser. Another function to make the access model final for modeling is the determination of the weather site. This is the only way Apollon can later automatically generate the profiles to the outside of the facade. If you already have experience with Athena 3D modeling, you will quickly realize that the approach is the same. Intersection point analysis, surface calculation and the determination of the weather site. Science, we do not have enough time in this half hour to parameterize a 3D sketch. I have already prepared such a sketch finally. If you have any questions about a procedure, we can definitely answer them afterwards. Those who already work with full parametric systems know exactly how to proceed. To create our facade, we logically need profile systems. These so-called bar definitions are created and parameterized at this point in Apollon. In the profile content center in Apollon, um, you can define different parameters like profile combinations and dihedral angles. Profile dependent pivot points can also be defined so that the profiles do not collide with the when the dihedral angle is changed. Here in the create a bar definition function, we can do some cool and amazing things. For example, we can change here for the mullion profile combination, the angular range. You can add uh, different parts, um, for example, main parts, gaskets, and um, for example, static parts. You can add different types of covers. You can add a different, different type of mullion length. Um, yeah, you can feel free, you can create um, your full 
um, full combinations of mullions and transoms or other profile combinations. Of course, also for unitized facades. I will show you another amazing feature. You can see that you late, if you later add bigger panels or glasses, the gaskets and other components change automatically to the um, right components of the size. Let's have a look to our unitized facade system, the Shuku USC65 profile system. Later we need this um, for our facade model and you can also add here, of course, unitized facade profiles. How to get quickly to the shown bar definitions? You can, for example, use AutoCAD block libraries directly from the manufacturer, uh, mark, mark subcomponents and notches with specified layers, um, joining options and import them directly into Apollon and save them in libraries. No matter if you want to use profile sim systems from a manufacturer or even develop or you have developed your own prof profiles for very large building envelopes, you can easily use them in Apollon. Now we come to the now we come to the profile assignment of one of the three elements. For this, we have to create a new assembly. Um, here is the norm IEM as the template. So here we have the new assembly. We name uh, the assembly. For example, um, LM3. We have here our project order. LM3, we save the assembly and now we take our 3D sketch and place the 3D sketch ground fixed at the origin. Why? More about that later. In this special ribbon we have so much more Apollon possibilities to create our full parameterized element facade element. Using the add bar command, we access our profile library and first select the outer compound frame and place the profile onto the outer long edges of the profile. As you can see, we always keep the defined pivot points of the profiles so that they do not collide later. This saves valuable time for rework and analysis um, the model. Another advantage here is that we do not have to execute and repeat comments. We stay in the dialog box and pick out other profiles like the, the complete transom uh, profile assembly and of the element and select both the long vertical and the two short horizontal actions, edges via the selection. What, we do we, what do we need now? The cutting of the profiles, of course. Here too, Apollon offers you an efficient function. Of course, you find the function in the special Apollon ribbon, bar cutting. We simply select two bars to be cut on the top of each other and define the cutting type of the different components. Again, you can stay in the dialog and directly select the other three corners of the composite frame and automatically cut the components to fit each other. Let's have a look at the result directly. Now we stay in the dialog again and select the three additional composite frame joints and Apollon um, do the cuttings also automatically. Let's make the next cuts and finish the element cutting wise. We also define the cutting from the composite frame to the transom and define the system given cutting classes. For example, the main profile of the transom is called cut profiled. You can see for yourself how quickly and simply the various options can be defined. When we went over the bar definitions earlier, I mentioned that notching and special machining can also be defined. The main profile of the transom bar is not only profiled, 
but also automatically machined with a notch. This is defined in the dialog provided for the purpose. In case you are wondering how do I rotate um, the model, maybe <laughs> still a little hooky into the corresponding free views, I use a space mouse from 3D connection. Here the model you can be can be rotated, drag it and push pleasantly and the, intuitively into the desired position, uh, which makes assembling assemblies much easier. That's just by the way we can recommend you some technical tools that will help you better with modeling. Let's have a look um, to the result. We isolate um, a transom profile and we can see um, and the, and the main profile, the special notch, notch processing. Uh, we can see the mitted cuttings um, on the top at the profile, the profiled cutting in the main profile. And yes, you can see Apollon give you so much performant functionality to do your system cuttings automatically and simple to use. How would you like to be able to easily transfer the achieved result to your machine control software? No big deal for Apollon functionality. We isolate a composite frame main profile and write it out as a special ECW file for the ELOCAD program. To do an export or a transfer um, of one bar into the ELOCAD program, uh, we have to start another special Apollon function, um, the export CNC. We have to fill out some um, properties, um, the, the class, the main part, the material and the item number. Um, we take the ECW file, but if you have another supplier of bar machining senders in use, you can of course export the profiles as a free step or SAT file. Here Apollon offers you again complete freedom. Let's have a look at the result directly here. So we open the ELUCAT software. We import our file or the special ECW project and import the file. Okay. And now let's take a look um, what has happened. We see here mm, the special processings, the metered cuts, and in the middle of the profile, the special notch processing. Isn't that inspiring? With Apollon, you can model your facade and send it directly to your machining center. A shorter way is not possible. Of course, we would like to order our glass fillings or panels later. Um, for this, these must be generated, of course, in the facade model. You can compose your required filling from the exciting categories in the function and have it automatically generated on the partial saw faces. By the fixed bar definitions, in which as seen before, also filling strains and distance are defined. The fillings are also generated with the correct parameters. We would like to inspect our work again and isolate the fillings. We see that Apollon has generated the fillings with the correct spacing and defined thickness. On this equation, I would like to show you how quickly you can exchange objects. Objects such fillings can of course be changed at any time. Seals and other components exchange themselves automatically thanks to intelligent bar definitions. We change some parameters here in the uh, comment again and you can see now seals are exchanged automatically and parameters are changed automatically. By the way, this is again a big advantage in Apollon. Because of the automatic adjustment, you save a lot of time and also errors are much reduced. We are talking about parameters or parametrics all the time in this webinar. Let's continue to explore the parametric design with Apollon. Let's bring in the other two elements. I have already created these elements in advance due to time constraints. 
you know yourself that changes from the architect costs more than nerves. It could well be that parameters like height or width change, but maybe also dihedral angles and components. At this point we come to the parametrics related to geometric changes. We first create a new assembly and join the elements together to form a component. Since the individual elements we created in the same origin, they can be placed correctly and automatically. Now we change the overall geometry at the request of the architect. Let's create a new assembly, name this LM, LM complete and place all the elements 1, 2, 3 and replace it in the model space with the same origin and we have our complete facade unit assembly. Now we change the overall geometry at the request of the architect. So we need our 3D sketch and we define a new width and a new height. The width 2000 millimeters and the height 2900 millimeters. You can see that not only the height and the width of the third element changes, but also the slope of the second element and again the width of the first element. We warp the entire element facade section. And you can then update the individual assemblies or elements and profiles as well as panels adapt to the newly defined geometry. Here on the second element, the element tilts backwards because it has been assigned a new inclination. And also the third element on the right side adjusts to the new assigned slope on the left side. Perfect. So we are done. I can promise you at this point that our CAD plan development team will make Apollon even more intuitive and powerful in the future. The range of the functions will be constantly expanded so that Apollon will be your tool for the future in facade and unitized facade construction. Many thanks already for the good work. I would also like to mention here that the pivot points at the element joints are automatically maintained so that the profiles do not collide either inside or outside. Subsequently, we join now four of the element facade sections to our complete facade as shown in the beginning in our Athena drawing. For this, we need also a new assembly and I will open a template and I save the assembly um, with the name facade one. I save the assembly. Okay. And now I use the function place. I take the LM complete facade unit and I insert two pieces or two facade units here or again in our assembly. In the next step, we will contrain the two element units. Here we use this function. We select the right type. For example, we connect or join the two um, UCS icons. Here we have the result and we apply the function. This is correct. And with the second step, we pattern the two elements to the right correction. And here also we um, use the height of 2910 millimeters. And now we have the complete facade assembly like in our Athena planning DVG. You can see for yourself how quickly the facade can be joined with various dependencies and then be parametrically connect as a unit. Further changes have effects on all sub-assemblies. Our way of working is parametric. We do not move, stretch or copy manually here. In this software you define with intelligent functions what you would like to have at the target. With the possibility to send profile components directly to the machine, we have already started the first step 
towards evalu evaluation and work preparation. Let's continue directly with the topic. We bring our facade, including sections, quickly and efficiently on the plan. Once main view, side view and an isometry and organizing our plan suitably. Scales and also the visualization of the views can be defined in seconds via the correct buttons or functions. A section may not be missing because we need this and also the views immediately. The views and also the section are not only dead or empty representations. Science it concern our element assemblies which are only brought on the plan. A part list can be generated directly automatically. We also note here how fast Apollon works also to generate sections and views and we look here at the result. How would you like it if Apollon had already automatically positioned the parts for you? Apollon has already done this so we can now generate a bill of materials in the direct way. For this step we have here the function part list. We select here one property um, and I will insert here the bill of material on the right side on the layout and let's have a look to the informations. You have here all informations you need to manufacture the parts, you can have, you have the list of the panels, you can order the panels directly, you have the different item numbers of the um, different assemblies of the profiles. And now let's export the bill of materials uh, on this point in Excel to be able to use this EDP moderately. Um, Apollon export the list directly as a, for example, an Excel file. We open the Excel file and let's here have here also um, a look. Here is a small apology from me because we have held the German webinar first. The labels are partly in German. If there are changes to the facade, meaning changes in length, height or the various subcomponents, the part list also changes thanks to parametrics. Another factor to exclude errors in the design or in the technical work preparation. Now the question arises, how do I later assign the individual profiles and their components to the elements? We are happy to answer this question with the possibility that Apollon automatically define and set positioning symbols. Let's not forget that we are dealing with intelligent element assemblies. In case something is repositioned, extended or omitted, positioning symbols as well and of course also the bill of material are linked to each other and update when changes are made. We could also create several views here to show the positionings even more clearly. If we have 3D models of a facade, the question always comes up when talking to customers. What about brackets, fasteners and other attachments to the facade? This is a completely justified question. That's why we will now show you um, on an example bracket how the answer can look like in Apollon. First of all, we use the function semi-finished product, similar to the one you may know from Athena. Here in this function you have also so much possibilities to create um, different types of um, semi-finished products. You can also define uh, different base points and for example also the item number and of course the material. We define a, a sharp T profile for the bracket and we give him um, the um, item number and we will insert it on the X epsilon layer in the model space with a distance on with 250 millimeter. This would be one possibility to create a base um, as a mounting part which can also be parameterized. Or you can create other basics based on sketches and extrusions here in Apollon. I have prepared the example bracket in the shown example. Using 2D sketches on the 
respective surfaces. I created points and definitions for holes and cutouts. Standard and free drillings as well as milling, phases and curves can then be easily executed using the functions provided for the purpose. We will show you a complete creation of a bracket live here in an extra webinar. Today we would like to give you an overview, of course, of our new software. Further Apollon webinars on special topics will, of course, follow. You want to use fasteners, especially from manufacturers or from standards? We offer you our standard part library in Apollon, as you know it from Athena. This allows you to use fastening parts in your bracket or um, mounting assemblies, which then also appear, of course, in your part lists. Let's insert a Fisher FAZ anchor and assign it to the drillings. If the bracket changes later, the distances between the drillings and the anchors can also be adjusted automatically. To achieve this, we repeat a process from earlier and perform in a similar way. First, we connect the anchor to the upper edges of the drilling, and then we use the constraint function and enter our base distances. Now the parts are in a dependence and update themselves in case the dimensions are redefined. And then um, we pattern the anchor also with um, the special function, pattern the component, and we define the direction. Here the vertical direction and then the second direction is the horizontal direction. And then the values of the dimension, 90 millimeters and 90 millimeters, and then we have here the result. And now the anchor, the anchors dependence on with the drillings. Thanks. Okay. Let's make the complete bracket. For this, we need a new assembly from our templates, a new IEM file. We create this and then I will save the new assembly to bracket complete. Okay. Then I will place the first part of the first bracket with the anchors to the model space. Um, you can rotate it simply to the right direction. Okay. And then we place, um, after this, we place the second part of the bracket. I have um, prepared this in, in, the, in the past. We rotate also um, the second part easily to the right position and then we place constrain the second part at yeah, the screw joint with the drillings. Here one screw joint to the one drilling and then we need also a second constraint. We cancel it, we do a free move and we define the second constraint here, the second screw joint with an edge of the drilling. We apply this and now we have the complete bracket. You can see for yourself how easily the parts can be joined together without much effort. At this point, we are finished with our Apollon unitized facade. But how can we incorporate this into our planning with Athena Complete? After all, we are working with two different software products, once the A and once the O of the facade design and curtain wall construction. A suggestion to export the objects of our plan in Apollon into a DVG and to let them flow into our, our planning. We open the exported DVG, the facade one, we um, open the facade planning, we end the object isolation, and here we have our, um, our 2D planning with Athena. And now we use the design center 
to transfer the blocks of the facade 1 DVG into our planning, we can we docking the design center to the side of the of our screen. So and now we can insert the different uh, block objects here the horizontal section of our facade 1 of the of our unitized facade here the front of the facade and also for example for a better visualization the isometry yes here in the in our model space in Athena complete now we can also check the building structure joints again and again during further planning and execution quickly adjust sections with Athena functionality if it's necessary and display detailed sections and views on further layouts in Athena complete. Let's summarize again what we have worked on in the last 30 minutes. In Athena 2021 we have considered a basic planning of the created unitized facade. It is important then technical correct executed building structure joints with all details are secured in connection with building physics. We have filtered out the basic access model from the architect and imported it into Apollon and converted it to a parameterized 3D sketch with surfaces and defined weather site. With bar definitions and fillings, we defined a parameterized unitized facade, made system cuts and also generated fillings. With the CNC export in Apollon, we exported a finished profile as a ECW file and opened it in ELOCAD. The machine can be started. After that, we generated drawings, derivations, as well as part lists and the positioning of the model. Fastening parts and brackets may not be missing, of course, and can also be created parametrically. Planning and modeling go hand in hand in our industry. The drawing derivations such as horizontal sections and views were imported into Athena Complete so that they can continue to be used in the detailed planning. We are talking here about the A and O or the be all and end all of the curtain wall design and facade construction. I hope I given you a good overview of our new product Apollo 2022. I am already looking forward to few the webinars in order to go into the deep with our products together with you. Thank you. So, welcome back to us and uh, I hope you enjoy what Philip showed you today and uh, we have something to ask you come on what's with my survey here okay yeah Philip has shown you some interesting and I hope you will be able again an insight into Apollon's performance yeah thank you very much Philip for that demonstration but before we go into the question, we preferred uh, we have prepared another small survey for you. And I start the survey. Wait, I have to take a look here. And we want to know from you how do you play standard parts, screw, disc, anchors, and so on on your model? You do this always in the drawing and then export it to an ERP system, or you will enter this in an Excel list you have. Uh, open um, and uh, or you will enter this uh, parallel entity ERP system or you do it quite different and if you do this then please write us an email to webinar at cut-plan.com and then yeah we can investigate this different things you do um, for that yes and these surveys always have an influence on the future developments of our products so you um, you will also receive a, a small survey afterwards, and please answer it so that we um, we can uh, we know how you like it. It's it's best. So okay, this survey we have open more than one minute. Okay, okay. So I close this, and it's very interesting. I think this survey, and I show you the result. 
Okay, you put this in the drawing directly, and then you put it in your AP system. That's really nice. Yeah, or the Excel list. Yeah, that's the other way. Yeah, and the different, yeah, the quite different ones. Please send us an email. It would be nice if you can do this. Okay, so now we come to the last slide for today. And if you are interested, what we have showing you today, um, you have some links here. Uh, that you can, on the left side, on my side here, you can register for a, a free trial version if you want to do this. And um, you can scan this now with your mobile phone, if you like, or you can click on our website on uh, www.cat-plan.com and then switch to the Apollon uh, section, and there you find the test versions links. Um, in the middle, you have the Apollon online training, but this is more for you if you are familiar with Inventor, and then uh, we can show you how it works with Apollon. Uh, so uh, that's more for the given interesting if you have an, an if, if if you if you know Inventor. Um, and on the right side, no, it's on the left side. I think it's on Philip's side. <laughs> I would like to say, yeah, if you don't know who is responsible for you in your country, then you can go on our website through the branches and sales partners on contact form. Uh, you have uh, a menu and then you click on contact and then you say the branch, they see the branches and sales partners or you scan this with your mobile phone and then you have a world map and then you can click on your country and then you see which, yeah, which partner is for you responsible or maybe we are responsible for you. Okay. That's all for the moment, I think. Thank you. We have uh, nearly 150, 200 participators. Really nice. Thank you for this attention. And uh, we have a lot of contact on LinkedIn. And if you like, then you can follow us uh, and we share a lot of more from our products, Athena and Apollon, and maybe more. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's. Yeah, that's all the last words for me, Philip. Yes. Your last words? Yes, thank you too. And I would be happy if we stay in contact together via LinkedIn. You can write me or via email. Um, and I and look forward to welcoming you on our next webinar, of course. And I wish you a very nice day and a successful business. Yeah, nice. Okay, so we close the. Uh, Microphone, we close the webcam, but we stay a little bit online for the questions. Bye-bye.